hello, welcome to SallyHughesBeauty.com. I am not Sally Hughes, um, <laughs> alas, but uh, Sally's on holiday and she has sent me uh, very kindly along to me uh, one of my heroes and one of the coolest people in the world. Oh, yeah, thank hello. you, awesome. Yeah, big, big, big fan. Uh, me and Sally Hughes, uh, uh, big fan of your TV show, big fan of your makeup. Oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing it to this country. Yeah. Because I've been flying to America oh, a lot to buy the Super long, <laughs> right? Yeah. But now you won't have to, which is great. Yes, I'm a fan, it goes to my <laughs> Yeah, fans, yep. So. Awesome. Yeah. So how, how long have you, you've been here a couple of days? Yeah, I got here on Monday, and uh, d which is two, two days ago or so, I, I think. Um, <laughs> everything kind of starts melting into oh, one. Yeah. But, uh, and then I, I go back on Friday, which is, what's, it, what's today, Thursday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of quick for my taste. You know, normally I, I would love to, like, stay and spend time, but... Um, but yeah, I'll be back in October for like the PA and that's when I'll get to like spend a lot more time around town and cool. visit friends and stuff But is this your first time in London? Oh hell no, no, I've oh. been here so many times. Yeah, I love I love London um, Yeah, I've spent a, a bunch of time out here and every time I've come it's always been amazing and like uh, I, I questioned I was like I wonder if people here take for granted like how beautiful the architecture is here, <laughs> you know um, because you guys make the, the states look like a joke when it comes to architecture. We don't have that much history. We're such a baby country, you know? So, uh, like, some of, like, you know, ghetto little apartments are, like, so beautifully handcrafted. I'm like, oh, it's just inspiring. Yeah, they like Sherlock Holmes live there. Right? <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, ah, oh, whatever. Same old, same old. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you hang out in, when you're in the UK? Um, you know, I, I don't have, like, a specific place, you know, uh... I, I, don't, I don't drink anymore, so it's not like I, I go to bars or anything, but, um, but I, I, uh... I don't know, there's a... I have friends that live out here, you know, musicians and designers and things like that that I like to visit. And, but yeah, um, I would love to start learning where more like vintage shops are in, in the area, like good right. ones, you know, because oh, I don't yeah. know my way around too much. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll go yeah, 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 okay, yeah, cool. That, that was the invitation to go shopping. <laughs> yes. <everyone. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, oh, man. So, gonna, so obviously, beauty range is, uh, is huge. And I, I kind of wanted to ask you, like, who were your beauty influences? Because so you, you have a really strong look. It's, it's, oh, thanks. Yeah. Or I, th I think, uh, yeah. yeah I'll take it as a, as a compliment. <laughs> um, I, you know, I don't have anybody that I actually, like, em emulate the style. I, I remember um, my first experience with eyeliner, for example. I, got, I found, like, some liquid liner that was brown. And... Uh, <laughs> And I remember not, not knowing how to put on eyeliner, but there was something intuitive about it. Like I knew that this went on my eye, you know, and I just tried it. And I just remember seeing such a difference and, that it made. Um, and I, I absolutely like fell in love. That was like, I've never turned back from, you know, uh, the, the cat eye, you know? So I just think, um, I think it's something that kind of organically happened. But, you know, I love like everything from the Victorian, Victorian era, I think as far as fashion and, um, and aesthetics and in, in, in design and architecture as well is my favorite. Um, but as far as makeup, I love the, the 40s. Um, 40s are probably one of my favorite. You know, it's like mm -hmm. such a great era that just accentuated uh, femininity and, and not in a, I don't know, in a, in a strong way, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if there's a specific person per se, you know? Yeah, yeah. sure. So there's uh, in movies, and like, there's sort of movies from the 40s and those kind of things, and movie icons. Yeah, 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 totally. I, I love a lot of like the Mexican actresses from like the 50s. So like in Mexico, for example, like the cinema was, was well, it's, it's kind of shit pretty much. Like uh, <laughs> there was one decade that was the decade, and it was... Uh, the 1950s, and then, so they call it the, the golden decade, you know? And uh, it was like when there was like the Rita Hayworths of Mexico and stuff. So a lot of the portraits that I have tattooed and stuff are um, of these Mexican actresses that nobody really knows, like in the States, who they are. But like to me, they're just, you know, these beautiful, strong Latin women. That they, and, and at the time, you know, if you were an actress, you were, you were a singer, you were a dancer, like you, you actually you know, knew how to do things. It wasn't just about like, oh, I'm hot and I'm going to show up, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like, you know, you had to really study for that shit, which, you know, I think, it's kind of a dying trade yeah, <laughs> in some hard, ways. Working hard. Yes, today. it sure is. <laughs> um, yeah. So you were talking about being a kid and trying on eyeliner yeah. for the first time and stuff. And I love that. I don't know, that when kids play with makeup, and yeah. it's not about beauty. Like making sure. yourself into a beautiful woman, but making yourself fun, having fun with makeup. When you say that there's, you know, I mean, some of the ranges aren't like, they're like non-traditional. Yeah, sure, like yeah. Of course. I mean, I think like that's the, the, the cool part about makeup that is that it is supposed to be fun. I think... Um, and, you know, I mentioned a little bit yesterday about how, like, we're entering this really new and exciting era that, like, the things that maybe weren't considered acceptable or beautiful are, are now considered very cool. And I think that that's great. Um, 
But yeah, I think uh, I think it's all about just having fun and um, you know just being kind of free with it. You know, um, I'm not like a makeup pusher on people. I actually like people without makeup too. I like myself without makeup, and uh, you know, like I don't care if people buy my my lipstick or not. Really, to, to be honest, I just want to create something that I'm proud of, and then if you love it, that's icing on the cake. But um, but I think uh, ultimately wearing makeup should be fun. It's not yeah. not to be taken so seriously. You know. Um, if you don't like it, just take it off, you know? And sure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, try on a yeah. new persona. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of which, I think, have you ever, I would love to know if you've ever experimented with like uh, a sort of different look to your own. Like, have you ever done like beach looks and like bronzer and. Uh, no, and I. Makeup <laughs> look and like? Yeah. I mean, I've like, I, I've, I've pretty much n never really had a tan, so um, I'm okay with that. I like yeah, the contrast. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, I definitely experiment with things. I think eyebrows are a big one for me because, you know, they really change everything about your face. You know, when people, you, you can arch your eyebrows and it'll change your appearance altogether or you can um, define them or uh, for me, like I, I fluctuate between like a lighter, like taupe type brow and then a darker, more contrasty power brow. And um, yeah, so, um, Sometimes I, I can I can change it up with that, yeah. but yeah, yeah. But you've never done the, you know, had the the beach hair and the, and the, and no, the bronzer. No, I'll the, leave that to the pros. <laughs> <laughs> the beach pros can have that. She's so perverse about it. If I, if I ever put on like bronze makeup, I look like you know Le Neopolis ice cream. No, I don't like, know what is that. It's the chocolate vanilla. And oh, okay. And strawberry yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Oh, so oh I hair, see what you're saying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. that's uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I would probably look pretty funny with a really deep dark tan. I think. I'd love to see you try. I'd love to see you try that look on. Um, so, have you had any? I mean, I guess as all of us, we experiment things. You had any beauty disasters over the years? What's the what's the kind of crazy thing you've ever done to yourself? Um, like. I don't know if they're disasters. I mean, there's, I definitely like... Experiments. Like, yeah. It's a non-judgmental word. Let's experiment. Sure. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. I kind of, I'm like Bob Ross about it. I get like, everything's a happy accident, you yeah. know? Like, oh, you know, it's okay if, if, if it gets messed up. And so actually, a lot of times I've, I've stumbled upon really cool combinations through, through experimenting, you know? Um, you know, I think when, when we launched Everlasting, for example, uh, I did a bunch of tutorials about uh, creating like different styles of ombre, not just like you're, you know, giving you depth. Obviously those are like the basics, but like, you know, if it's like horizontal or vertical or you know, something that's more, you can use it editorial or just for fun. Um, and I remember combining Echo, which is this like really nice blue denim that's over at the end oh, yeah. with um, with red, with the, with the outlaw red. And it was uh, putting just a little bit of blue in the corners is like really added, um, a different dimension, you know? Oh. Yeah, and it's it's almost subtle. Like, you know, I, I would like look in the mirror and I'd have to take a double take. I'm like, wait, I'm wearing blue mm -hmm. lipstick, kind of. Like, it's pretty cool, you know? Because the Outlaw is a blue-based red, so it was very complimenting, but yeah. So I just think it's good sometimes when you experiment and mm -hmm. stumble upon something different, you know? That way, it change it up. Really? Yeah. 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 And when you were a, when you were a teenager, did you like have crazy hair colors and? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a mohawk, so I mean, I, that it's funny because my parents, they were, you know, my parents were quite conservative at the time, and, and they still are. But um, when I first started tattooing, I was fourteen years old, and uh, that was wow, that's young. yeah, and that was around the time where I got my first tattoo, which was not pretty or anything. It was it wasn't fancy or anything, but it was it was it was cool. And uh, my I think my dad was more worried and concerned about my haircut versus the tattoo, you know? Really? Yeah, because it was just so in your face, you know? And I think, uh, you know, my family's from Argentina, so um, they come from a, even a different culture. Than, they're not Americanized by any means at the time. And so it was like, oh my God, it's our daughter like a drug addict gang member or something, you know? And I'm like, no, I was actually just really into punk who, rock music. Yeah, know? who was, was there a particular punk, uh, say, a punk musician who you, who you were emulating? Um, no, I, I mean, I, I've always, I think, as far as my mohawk goes, uh, I was always a big fan of Wendy Williams and her mohawk. I, you know, there's, there's different kinds of mohawks you guys can get. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, she just had like the, more like Mr. T, you know, like very wide and just like fluffy and whatever. And I always liked that look. I never like spiked it out or anything. It just you know, yeah. more like just messy. And I, 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 actually, I don't know why I don't. Uh, I need to name a shade after Wendy O. Williams. I, she's she was such an amazing person. You know, yeah. yeah she was a gardener and an activist, and obviously a musician. And got arrested a bunch of times for driving Cadillacs into pools, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. And the plasmatics it was actually one of my first 
vinyl records that I ever bought. Why haven't I named a shade Wendy? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. No, you get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Note to self. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but then again, you know, I wouldn't say that I was emulating her style because. Um, yeah. That's you know. Punk way. Yeah. It, it, well, it was just more like. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely admired her, but I think we were, I was just trying to do my own thing. And also, like, I liked a lot more, like, I guess, like, the gothier shit anyway. So I was <laughs> more like a, a, whatever, a nerdier version of that or yeah. something, you know? Yeah. Uh, 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 a Grebo musical <laughs> over here. That's oh, the, yeah? the old kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I uh, love it. Cool. So did you, um, uh, just quickly, you want to tell me three products you'd take if you could take any um well uh, people ask me that all the time yeah, and it's I'm so sure, difficult yeah. I, I it's um i mean red it lipstick have to be your range but okay yeah, okay cool yeah. Oh, yeah any product at all yeah, yeah. hmm um well to be honest i would say i would say actually it would be my tattoo liner and it's mm. not because it's mine but it's because i i use it every single day <laughs> um not just for eyeliner but you can it's so precise the component itself is is really precise i can show it to you actually it's right here um i, I feel like a lot of people are already familiar with it oh but yeah do you have that in focus? <laughs> yeah, so this bad boy is like my absolute favorite. So if you look at like this, um, the sharpness of that, there's actually 300 bristles within that component and it took me about like, I forgot how many revisions of going back and forth with this company to make it. And once we did, it was like the, the most amazing distribution. But um, let me know if you're in focus, can you see that? Like, so like, if you just do a really teeny tiny line with no pressure at all, you can see like how super tiny and that was why I called it tattoo liner it wasn't so much mm -hmm. that it's permanent of yeah. course it was more just like finding uh, a component that really is as close to a fine line single needle as possible mm -hmm. and then if you want to obviously you could like with adding just a little bit of pressure build or make you know lines thicker and more dramatic kind of like how I do my eyeliner um, but yeah so the it's not just the formula, it's the component, it's everything about it. Um, it really lends itself to doing so much more than just eyeliner. Mm -hmm. And I think that like eyeliner in general is quite a intimidating product for, mm -hmm. for someone who doesn't wear eyeliner, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've been wearing it since I was like, whatever, yeah. two years old. Um, but, uh, for, <laughs> but, I, but I call that one like the dummy, the dummy proof liner because I think all beginners can use it and, uh, yeah, um, I'd say and get used to it. Tattoo. Yeah, yeah you know. Big, big fan of tattoo liner. I've always got it in my handbag. Oh, cool, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and, and we have ink liner too, which is the felt tip version. And um, just because there are some people that prefer felt tip, mm. and uh, for me, I I feel like I can control um, the tattoo liner component mm -hmm. a lot better than the felt tip. But sure. yeah, it's all about distribution and how, what you like. So mm. yeah. Have you got two more products. Oh sure, yeah, two, yeah. two. Yeah, so then that would be number two. My number one would be red lipstick. So. Yeah. Any from either collection, I would be happy with that. And my third, I would say, it's a toss up because I love my foundation that I wear, but um, but this uh, shade and light eyeshadow palette is a uh, is just such a must have. I mean, I think it's not just for you know the regular client like myself, but like for the pros, you know, I've had a lot of makeup artist friends that love this because it, um, it's so diverse. And I mean, it's a um, it's our kind of like our kind of we're kind of like well known for this amazing formula it's a 100% matte super velvety finish like um did you guys get to have you gotten to play with this yet I have okay good yeah, yeah I love this um it just feels like velvet all of the the it's highly pigmented but super blendable but when you look at the palette itself you can see that there's like quads so uh, and obviously you can mix and match there's no wrong way of doing it but um you'll see that you've got your warm tones your cool tones and your neutrals. So this is basically like the go-to palette for any skin tone, for any look. If you want to do like a natural look or a really bold, like smoky eye, you can do that. I mean, there's so much, and I, and I do my eyebrows with it too if I need to. So, yeah, cool. you could probably contour your face if you wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit too pale. No, I could use that one. That one might work. Mix these two. Anyway, so you clearly work really closely with the development. Oh my god, with everything, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like I drew, I drew this with my hands, like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And that's why when I when I look at it, it's like I, I can see all the imperfections. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, that H should have been a little bit shorter. But it's it's kind of the beauty of it because I feel like everything is so consumed by like computer generated images now yeah. that it's like loses its soul. Oh, that's so but cool. yeah, it's super important to me that I like have a hand in all of that. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So I was going to ask you, uh, do you have any beauty sins? As in, do you write your hair? Do you sleep in your makeup? Do you? Um, no. I, are you normal? Are you a human being? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. Like, um, no, I, I'm really pretty good about wa washing my face before I go to bed, for sure. But um, I think, 
the only like I guess kind of weirdo thing I have <laughs> is like some people when we reuse their eye eyelashes and I I just can't and I so I do I feel guilty about it sometimes because okay. I'll use them once and then I throw them away wow. and I know that that's somewhat wasteful I mean they're just they're tiny little lashes it's yeah. not that bad but you know yeah that's no, probably that's somewhat grungy though <laughs> <laughs> I don't know something like something about I mean I know you can clean them stuff but I just don't like to reuse the eyelashes so wow yeah. okay. Yeah, but I also don't buy like, you know, obviously I buy synthetic lashes, so it's not like I'm buying minx and, you know. Oh, yes, because you're a vegan. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, yeah. That's great. And the whole range is vegan, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a few things that we're, we've been, that we still have to formulate in order to be 100% vegan, there, which are eyeshadow, some eyeshadows, mm -hmm. it's just some shades. Um, but uh, yeah, everything, like all the lipsticks, all the complexion, anything that's going to be launching new. And I think for the UK, you guys are going to, we're going to have already launched all of the Locket franchise. So, um, but so from that point on, everything else that's new, you guys will get as vegan. So, and, and I made it really super easy. Like you can go when you go to like catbondybeauty.com, there's like a little vegan alert tab, and it, it lets you know like for makes it easier for vegans. That's, you know, that's great. That was uh, you were saying yesterday at the launch that you know we live in sort of exciting times with technology. Yeah, like, man. People just sort of lazily use animal sure. products. Sure. Yeah, some consciously and unconsciously, yeah. but I think uh, I think for me, if I can make it super easy for people to mm. like you know to live a compassionate life then why not you know that's terrific yeah so next will be shoes <laughs> i gotta make some vegan shoes you're designing shoes or? i want to yeah yeah i think it's like so wow. it's like the hardest one to find you know yeah. it's like uh yeah i like fake leather yeah or just just non yeah because i mean the, it's it's not just like in leather you know there's also just a lot of shoe adhesives use like horse products and stuff so like in glues so th th it's a lot behind it and also there's like different ways that are less wasteful too in production so yeah but I feel like yeah if I can do it why not you know what I mean awesome. yeah um, and do you have a, a yeah so if you were a, a, if you, you said you take your makeup off you're very virtuous yeah. and you don't Squeeze your spots, or <laughs> yeah. Uh, but would you? So, do you have any beauty tips that on about buying a product, like free beauty tips? Any wisdom that's been handed hmm. down to you over the years? Um, you know, I I don't know. I think it, like I have advice that I've given myself that I've just from the years of uh, of being a girl on the go is that <laughs> like I just know that if I rush, I will mess up my makeup. Right. So even when I'm super late. It's better just to admit defeat and just take your time because it's only going to take more time if you try to rush it. Okay. So that's my that's only... That's very good Yeah, advice. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck it. I accept it that I'm going to be late and I'll have to pay the consequences, but at least I won't have to redo my goddamn eyelashes. <laughs> is that like important to you, like the, the kind of putting on a face before you go and do something? No, no. I just think like, uh, you know, if... When, when you start, you want to finish. I'm not going like, to show up with like half an eyeball done. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I think... Uh, yeah, on certain occasions I think it's important to, I don't know, I think people get lazy now, you know? There was a time where people used to, you know, dress nice, nicer and, mm -hmm. and kind of like, like the airport used to be really like a nice clean place. <laughs> like now it's crazy with like just gum on everybody's shoes and stuff, you know? So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not opposed to like dressing up and looking nice or presentable or something, you know? Yeah, or, or, or just like taking care of yourself, you know, in, yeah. in whatever way. Because some people don't like my style per se, but like... I feel it's important to, you know, I don't know, take care of yourself. That's cool. Yeah. Everyone has to like your style because that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's your style. That's yeah, cool. totally. <laughs> I'm being great. Okay. Um, Campbell, thank you so much. Oh my God, no, thank you. Much. Yeah, this um, is such a good interview. I'm so excited to be here and uh, those were good questions, so thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. well, I get asked a lot of the same um, ones over, so this is cool. It was oh, awesome. awesome. Yeah. Well, we're going shopping now. So <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> happen, so yep. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs>